Hello friends, I, Priyanka Khan, Assistant Professor in Briyani Group of Colleges, welcome you all on behalf of Guru KPO. Today I am going to deliver lecture on nervous system of prawn. As we know, the prawn is an aquatic animal and <laughs> it is very active animal, so its nervous system is well developed. In nervous system, there are three types, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system and autonomous nervous system. The central nervous system consists of four parts, brain, circumesopharyngeal commissure, ventral thoracic mass and ventral nerve cord. As we know, the body of pran, pran is segmented and its body is divided into two parts, cephalothorax and abdomen. Cephalothorax region is made of two parts, cephalic region and ab, uh, thoracic region. There are total <coughs> 11 segments in thoracic region. Accordingly, the nervous system organization is according to body organization. And in central nervous system, the anterior most part is the brain, which is made of two pairs of ganglia, and that is called <coughs> supraesophageal ganglion. It is located on the base of rostrum, and it is made of two ganglions, so it is called supraesophageal ganglion, as it is, it lies above the esophagus. From the brain, there arises three pairs of nerves, one pair for antinule, one pair for antinary, and one pair for eyes. After that, uh, one pair thick nerve cords arise from the posterior part of the brain, and it fuses with the Subesophageal ganglion. Subesophageal ganglion lies just below the esophagus and it is part of ventral thoracic mass. <coughs> uh, ventral thoracic mass it lies in the thoracic region and it is made of 11 pair of ganglia. 11 pair of ganglia, <coughs> there are first three pairs goes to mandible, mag maxillary and maxillary. These after that, the next three pairs nerves arises from the ventral thoracic mass and it goes to the first, second and third pair maxillary pits. After that, the last five pairs which remained left, uh, these go to walking legs for <coughs> its activities. After that, ventral thoracic mass gives rise to one main nerve cord that is called ventral nerve cord. Ventral nerve cord extends from the abdomen region of the from the first segment to the last segment. It is double in origin, and in each segment there is segmental ganglion, which are called abdominal ganglion. There are six segments in abdomen, so there are six ganglionic segments in the abdomen region. The first five ganglionic pairs of abdomen have three pairs of nerves, out of which the first pair nerve goes to the pedal segment and one goes to extension muscle and the another goes to the flexor muscles. After that, the last segment of the abdominal ganglia is the largest and there arises 13 nerve fibers, out of which the two pairs goes to the flexor muscle two pairs goes to the uroports and two pairs goes to the telson and one single long nerve cord goes to the hindgut. Thank you, thank you and thank you. For more details, kindly visit our website uh, www.gurukpo.com.